Webflow has just announced a new update for components. And if you're new to Webflow, it's probably going to be pretty straightforward for you to figure out how to use it, uh, how to make the override fields and how to make all of the updates. But if you've been in Webflow, like we've been in Webflow since 2015, it became a little bit clunky on how the components work actually, even though they offer a lot more functionality and they're like better, like as a product, um, like you cannot teach a, a, an old dog, like new tricks pretty easily. But after some time, we, uh, figured out how everything works. So in this video, we're going to be showcasing how to add new components, how to make the override fields and going over the new uh, features that Webflow has announced for the components themselves. <laughs> So um, the first thing is adding components, like pressing command E and like adding navigation as a component, like that was as it was previously adding a footer as a component, like all that is pretty straightforward. So like even creating a component like this, but just clicking the right click, uh, create a component hero section. Then the thing that has changed is how you override components right now. Uh, like, first of all, having visibility, we can create a visibility for the component itself. So the component can be hidden or visible, hidden or visible, like as a component itself. Then previously we were clicking the wrench icon. I mean, like previously we were just double clicking on the component itself, which is not going to do anything at the moment. So like, it's just going to go like to visibility and stuff like that. So you need to click the wrench icon and uh, go to a heading. And then we were connecting a heading to a new property, then naming the property, et cetera, et cetera. Right now, that process is a lot easier. If you paste this component to a new page by just double clicking and changing the text to test something else uh, and clicking back, we're going to be able to see that we have an override field here that we can override the heading. Then we can double click on an image. We can replace an image with a different image, or we can add visibility for the image itself. So where the visibility comes really in handy is when you go to sections like this, and previously we weren't able to create these as components uh, because on some pages clients have one CTA and somewhere they have two CTAs, some, sometimes they don't have CTAs at all. And right now we can create visibility for buttons. We can hide the buttons fully. We can hide a single button or we can basically just link the text and the link and a link to a different thing like right flow ninja here and make the overrides like that. Uh, so apart from that, there are also things uh, you can uh, right now do in the CMS. You can uh, have a pre-made hero section for your full website as a component. Then you can go to, let's say, uh, my blog post template. Let me remove this. Uh, paste in, in the main wrap. You can paste in the hero section. And right now, all of the override fields that we created, we can actually connect them to the CMS itself. So we can add the name. It can create a new override field. We can connect that to published on or created on because we don't have a published on date. We can add a visibility here and make that hidden. And we can basically connect the image to the main image itself. So this is going to become pretty handy because we can start developing websites much more systematically than we were previously. And just by, by doing this, hopefully having a lot less bugs and making Webflow much more accessible for marketing teams or anybody else who wants to create uh, new pages on Webflow. And then the final thing that you cannot do actually, uh, which is pretty uh, a bummer is uh, having uh, these items nested inside of the CMS. So my idea was imagine creating a card component that is a card across the website and connecting that to the CMS list. That is not a CMS post page. That is the thing we cannot do currently. Uh, and it's hopefully going to come into the next update. So like, do you love or hate the new component update? Feel free to write messages below. And I'm pretty excited to see how this pans out to marketing teams that are going to be using this because it's going to allow the marketing teams to create more static pages out of components and do that much more with Webflow.